All right, so are you facing a problem when, for example, if I open my project and I build a solution? Yeah, build a solution for this, right? Okay, and then if I run the debug, then I get this error, right? So if you want to fix this error, what you need to do is uh, you need to upgrade your .NET to .NET Core because that's what Revit is using. The newer versions are using now. So what you can do is you can close Visual Studio. You can open Visual Studio again. And this time continue without code. Then go to Extensions and click on Manage Extensions. Search for .NET Upgrade. Yeah, this one. So we can just install this. Let's wait for a bit. And now we need to close Visual Studio to automatically start the installation. Click on Modify. All right, so now we can open Visual Studio again. 2022. Let's open our project. Okay, so we still have this error. So to fix this, right click on your project and click on upgrade. Then click on in place project upgrade. Make sure to select the latest one, which is .NET 8, click on next, and then click on upgrade selection. So now it should upgrade your project and it would replace the files as well. And now if you look at the properties, you should notice that our project is targeting .NET 8. So now let's run the debug again for this project. And now it works perfectly. So Revit is loading on my other screen. And Revit would ask if I want to load my new plugin. I would say load once. You can notice that uh, the debug has started on top. So let's start a new project. And now if you go to add-ins, you'll find my plugin here. So for example, if I create an element here, and if I want to find the element ID, maybe for example, a detail line, I'll simply go to my add-ins, click on external tools and get element ID. So I hope this video helps. Please do subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. We'll also be releasing a C-sharp course in the future. So if you like updates and more, sign up to our newsletter, which you will find in the link in the description.